I'd be tired of watching me mixing up butter too. I can do this. I have faith. I'm over that one too. This is awful. How am I going to get this to work? So if there's any little kids watching, don't ever stick a knife in the blender. <laughs> oh, good God. How am I As long as it doesn't squirt out the ends, we'll be fine. It is safe. Oh, and I'm just going to cut them and put them in the... I, I don't know. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Today I thought I'd do something nice for my husband. Over on Page Family Homestead, Andy made jalapeno butter and Rob just is like, I think I would like that. I think I would like that. So I bought jalapenos probably a little, a little while ago. All right, we'll just, I have jalapenos. So I thought I would make him butter. Let me show you what I have. I have all these jalapenos that are getting like old because I bought them. I don't even know. I, I really don't even know when I bought these jalapenos. I had them sitting out so it would remind me to do this but I had to put them in the refrigerator because the cat kept getting them. My, my black cat would get a jalapeno and roll it all over the house. <sighs> nothing else the cat doesn't bother like other vegetables like that i got a weird cat i guess but let's do these jalapenos All right, so let's start i've got butter unsalted no salted salted butter don't know why i said unsalted but I, i've got this a pound of that and i've got my garlic powder that i made and some onion powder that i made and these jalapenos so let's i'm gonna cut them i have my chopper here and i'm just gonna cut them and put them in a cut them in a cut them in a cut them in a put them in a in a there i don't know where that came from i hope rob appreciates this am i gonna wear gloves for this nope nope i'm not i'm just gonna just work hopefully i won't touch the actual jalapeno part probably should wear gloves Am I going to save the seeds? No, I'm not doing that either. Not this time. We're just getting this done so the peppers don't go bad. Some of them are falling on the floor. How am I... They're falling on the floor. How am I going to get them off the floor? I have tweezers. That will work. Okay. Tweezers will work. This is Andy approved. If you look at their thumbnail, it says Andy approved. Wonder if it's Jeffree Star approved. Do you know who Jeffree Star is? If not, you're probably better off. My eyes are getting... This is hot. I'll tell you. It smells hot. I'm making a mess on the counter. It is starting to smell hot. Yeah, it is. Let's see. This chopper thing is the best thing in the world. Look how easy this is. Ouch! Jeez. Thank God for my fake nails. That one caught that one. Right as I'm saying, look how easy that is. I just got my nail. My nail guy's gonna say, what you did your nails? Well, you know, I got this chopper thing. Maybe if I'm over the bowl, that probably would be better. I wonder how many of these I need to use. I'm getting peppers everywhere, but my dog won't eat these. Come on, do better. That still has got a little go. I'm over that one. Can you see that over there? Right there? My, that's my cat. That's the cat that likes the jalapenos. The window's open. And I, I, I don't normally let that cat out. It's gotten out twice. And I've chased it. That was fun. Alright, I'm over that one too. This is really burning my eyeballs. Eyeballs are watering. My face even feels hot. It's like I can feel this on my face. Pay attention to what you're doing. And my eyes, my eyes are watering. I'm going to see my baby granddaughter after this. Yeah, this is awful. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm back. I found my husband's swim goggles. Brilliant, this is brilliant. I might just finish this whole recipe in the swim goggles. I should have done this a week ago when the peppers weren't so mushy and I'm not touching them. I hope Robert approves, just like Andy. I hope we get some approval here. Pay attention. I've got, I've got seeds everywhere. It's everywhere. In the sink. All right, now I got these. <sighs> Again, hold on, I'll be right back. I'm back with the tweezers. I'm gonna pick these buggers up. I don't wanna touch them. Don't wanna touch these. I'll just put these in the dishwasher when I'm done. Cause <laughs> these go next to my eyes. Good decision, Michelle. This is like that game operation. 
Do you guys remember the game operation where we have to get the bones out without making a buzz? There we go. Only a few more. We only have to sit through a few more. I wonder if I can pick up two at the same time. Yeah. Nope. Can't do that. All right. Here we go. You don't have to be a perfectionist when you cook. You you don't. You just have to get it done. And I got one on the floor. We'll put that one in the garbage. Where's that? Oh, the dog tried to get it. It's way over here now. No, Macy. You don't want to. Trust me. You don't want that. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I dropped it. Jeez. This one helping you is making its rounds. My garbage can's broke. I can't just step on the thing anymore because I broke it. These are going in the dishwasher. I'm going to do that right now while I'm thinking about it because they go next to my eyes. I don't want that. And I'm going to take these off now because it's starting to hurt. So I got marks on my eyeballs. I don't even care. These are in my blender. Blender. I called it a mixer last time. It's a blender. Oh, here's a stray. There you go. We're going to just chop these up. Andy did it differently. Of course, differently than me. Probably looked a little better but you know we're gonna just chop these and i also learned if you don't get this thing on the mixer right it things come things fly out but i don't remember which is the right way i don't think that is it, it has this little little thing right here there's a little thing and you have to get that thing in there right okay i, I don't know we're gonna just chop these up you ready i'll um fast forward for you They're all just in the middle. This isn't working. This has to work because I'm not touching these. Um, I don't know which button to push. Let's see. Frozen drinks? No. Oh, turn it on. Turn it on. Okay. Oh, look, there's a stop button so I don't have to. Oh, here's a pulse. Here's a pulse. Oh, That's a max pulse. Let's try that one again now that I'm... Oh, wait a minute. There's a max that says ice, ice crush. I might have to stir it up a little bit. Let me get my knife. Oh! Oh, good God. Why did I do that? Listen, when you do this, don't put your face in the blender. Oh, good God. I wish now, I wish I would have had my goggles on and my mask and everything else. That was pretty bad. All right, you ready? Great idea. I should let Rob do this. Peggy made Andy do it. Now I know why. Oh, it's crunching up. Oh, there I go with my face in it again. Dummy. I'll be back when this is done. It seems like it's gonna be a long time. So I'll be right Just back. Just for the record, there's a food chop setting on here that I figured out after I turned the camera off. So we got it. So we, I, I have that. I used the actual food chop setting. I guess that's what it's for. We're gonna add some garlic to this. This is the garlic powder that I made. Now we're gonna add just that much. And then I have onion powder. Oh, geez. I have onion powder here that I'm going to put in there too. These were my like long onions, the green onions, the long, yeah, the, the, you know what I'm talking about, the ones that are long. Probably that much. Rob's not real, really a fan of onion. We're just going to put that much in there and then I'm going to mix that up so that's blended. So this, this won't take long. Oh, wait a minute. Turn it on. Okay. Now it won't take long. Well, I see that it shot onion powder on the side, so stir that. Oh, that made it a little thicker. All right, one more time. wonder if there's a stir setting. Yeah. That's not as much fun as the other setting, now is it? That's good enough. Good enough for me. All right, we're going to add butter now. This is warmed butter. I left it out all night long, so we're going to add this to it. One stick at a time. That's going to be the plan. Warmed butter. Softened butter. It's called softened butter. Come on. I don't want, see, I don't want to touch anything. I really don't. I wonder if I could do two sticks. Yeah, let's do two sticks at a time because I'm an impatient person. Don't want to touch you either. I certainly hope this stirs it up because I don't want to touch it. Which one should I use? We got that one. Let's try to stir. Don't do this at home, people. Don't stick knives in the blender. It's not a good idea. But it's working, so... While this is stirring, I'm just going to add the rest of it because I want to. Come on. Don't want to touch you. Don't want to touch you either. Come on. See, it's stirring down there. Again, don't put your knife in the blender. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. So if there's any little kids watching, don't ever stick a knife in the blender or the toaster for that man. Anything electrical, keep your keep your silverware out of. Come on, get in there. See now. Oh, see that's why. I think I'm gonna put the lid on it and give it a good whoosh. This doesn't 
mix it very good. It might end up in my big mixer. Or I have an emulsion blender. Maybe I'll use that. This doesn't seem to be doing what I want it to be doing. This video is going to go on forever. How long does it take Michelle to make butter? That's mixing, but I'm going to have to stick my knife in it again. Don't do this at home, kids. Oh, can you imagine this flying out of the blender? It better not, because I don't want to be cleaning all this butter up. That would be awful. It's kind of working. See, it's... Kind, it's kind, it's working it's working good enough let me just put it that way i'm about over this pampered chef you ever get go into one of them pampered chef parties and don't know what to buy these are nice we're gonna say this is about done all right now what oh there's a chunk of butter Dang on it all right i'm gonna mix it one more time and i'll be back i'm sure you're tired of watching me mixing this butter i'd be tired of watching me mixing this butter too I'll be right now, back. Now what you do next is I have my cling wrap here and I'm going to put this on my cling wrap and try to make a log out of it. That's what we're going to do next. First of all we have to get this we got to get this out of here. I hate cling wrap. I don't know about you but I hate it. I hate it with a passion. I can't ever get it to rip right so I just tear. And then it all goes together. You know that. Then this is going to be a video of let's watch Michelle fight with the cling wrap. We're going to start over. Maybe if I lay it on the counter. Yeah, let me lay it on the counter. Daggone it. Again, we just tear because that's what you do with cling wrap. Throw it over there. All right, so we've got the cling wrap messed up here on the counter. I'm going to try to straighten this out. Everyone loves cling wrap. You know, this is ridiculous. I should have just used aluminum foil. This is what Andy did. We already had trouble with his cling wrap too. There. Look at this. Perfect. Oh, I messed it up. Perfect enough for me. Now we're going to put the butter on the cling wrap. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to just plop it all out here and make a, like a log because that's what Andy did. Oh, look how runny it's soupy. That might be a problem. I don't think Andy's was soupy. I probably overmixed it. I'm sure that I overmixed it in this blender. But it has to go in the refrigerator. Maybe it'll just harden right back up. He said, make a log. I don't think that I have enough clean wrap. How am I going to get this to work? Maybe if I spread it out down the clean wrap, it would work. I don't know. I may have just screwed this all up. Or, you know what? We'll just make it work and put it in a bowl. We won't have the pretty log. We'll have just a like a bowl of it. No, it, this isn't going to work. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe. Where's the other piece of cling wrap? I need to have that. I, I can do this. I, I can do this. I have faith. Have faith in yourself. Let's fold that back a little bit. There, look, we have a log. It may be a bigger log than what they have, but you know what? It is what it is. Look at that. Perfect. See, you could make anything work. Now I need to put this in the refrigerator and let it harden back up. And like I said, if it doesn't harden back up, we'll just put it in a bowl. No big deal. As long as it doesn't squirt out the ends, we'll be fine. All right, here, we're gonna put it right on this and have faith that it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. Whoa. Here, just pick it up and get it there. Now, I think that he put this in the refrigerator or maybe he put it in the freezer. I don't know where he put it to tell you the truth. But we're just going to hope that it stays in that shape. Because I like that shape. There. Alright, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. We'll be back in a couple hours to see if I need to put it in a bowl. It's either going to be a really good spread or a log that we could just cut off of. Like a stick of butter. Alright, I'll be back. I didn't realize I wasn't talking that you couldn't see me. Alright, I'll be back. I put it in the freezer. I made a log butter. It smells good too. Now I'm gonna let, I'm gonna wrap this better. Maybe put half of it in the freezer. Or I mean in the refrigerator. Well, I'm gonna put half of it in the freezer wrapped better because you could freeze butter. And I'm gonna leave this out so we could use this part. But I'm gonna keep it in the refrigerator. I made, I made a weird log butter. How's that sound? Pretty cool. Come on back for more, subscribe. I'm going to be making bone broth here in the near future and garlic, garlic. You can watch, watch me grind my garlic powder. Oh, that was fun. 
Alright, I will see you in my next video. Bye.